Okay. Um, downloaded a pile of mods that I've not looked at. Um, so we'll be, we'll be, you'll be looking at those for the next few days. Uh, first up is the Porsche 935. Uh, released 19, sorry, 2019, 2018. Um, and limited numbers, 77 were released. It's a bit of a homage to Moby Dick, which is their old 935 from 1978. A bit of a Limons and 24-hour track monster. It's uh, not road legal, just for the track. Cost just shy of a million dollars. Uh, we're going to go and drive it. Uh, I've put it up against some GTE cars and some open GT cars, which shouldn't really... GTEs might give it a bit of a, a run, but shouldn't really uh, bother us. So without further ado, we're at Limon, three laps. The sun is shining. Let us get going. If you want to know more, I think Doug DeMuro's got um, an in-depth look at it. It is a thing of beauty. And 700 brake horsepower track monster with a lot of aero. Made to look like the old Moby Dick with its big whale tail. I'll be quiet just for a minute, just so I can keep up with these and keep concentrating on what the hell I'm doing. Um, I'll leave a link to the uh, the mod in the description below. It's one of the usual places. I've had to turn the force feed back up a little bit. Just for this, it just felt a bit too light. It's a bit of a monster down the straight. Jeepers. Jeepers creepers. Jinkies, even. Good on the brakes. A little bit understeery. Uh, temperature's decreasing. It's now 29. It so looks retro on the outside, but it's all mod cons on the inside. Let me uh, turn my traction control down to two. It's very sure footed. I've got the AI set on 100. This is the first time I'm running it, so it, I'm getting left behind in the dust. She's not good for the free, free of viewing experience. We'll try and catch up with her. Let me uh, start doing some silly things. See how far we can push this. No boost button, no electrical gubbins. No push to pass or DRS. Let's see how it handles with this. It didn't handle it very well. Look at how quick this thing is. I am making a little headway on them. We're not really getting to see what the car's like, unfortunately. Try and rectify that on the next straight run. Let you have a look at the beast. Oh, okay. I think that's just a, was an expensive bump there. Right, I don't think I'm going to hang with uh, these guys up in front. They're leaving me for dead. So what I'm going to do, take me time here, let some GTEs come past me. Um, I'm running a, some 
mod GTEs and we'll uh, we'll just have a play with them so you can see what's going on. But in the meantime, where oh, they come. In the meantime, you can uh, have a look at the beast. On your left. Right. Let's get in these lots. Left. left side. Hold your line. Now these will be tricky in the Still corners. There. Still there. As the lime green Ferrari takes me. Coming to the pits at the end of this lap. Box this lap. If you no. Out of fuel, next lap. No, Jim. No, Jim. I put four laps worth of fuel in. On your right. Clear right. On your right. Clear right. Go away, I stay right. Here's where we uh, show these pesky little GTEs what's what. Gap two, rounding ahead is increasing. It's now 17 seconds. Or maybe we don't. Please, jeepers. And again, this is a. Uh, a limited edition retro kind of race car for the uh, rich and bored whereas those are purpose built bloody racing machines in front of us but still we're on them on your left clear left it's breaking a bit early because they look a little bit tangled up up here Bumps don't seem to unsettle it at all. It's a gaggle of Ferraris here. Clear right. Car right. Oh, we've got Clear a right. GT up there, Ford. On your right. Clear right. Right side. Clear right. Oh, thank you. It's just what I wanted. Dent in the rear of it. <laughs> Coming through. Oh, the chrome monster right. at the front. On your right. Clear right. We got anything up here? Oh, we got something up here. Let's go catch him. We have a challenge. Let's turn the uh, traction control off. I'll put it on one. I'm not that brave. Let's see what we can get out of it. So that understeer is just a little bit it's kind of been made so that the rich people and the bored people don't kill themselves too easily. The leader's just done a 3.45.2 seconds. Still very nice to drive though. I'm not getting anywhere near the potential out of it because the, uh, well, the AI at 100 just run away with it. Okay, last lap. One more lap to go. Okay, Owen, half distance. We estimate one lap of fuel remaining. Your lap time was 3.56.3 seconds. Let's catch whatever it is up there. It's a GTA running away with it. This mid speed stuff it's very good at. Um, once the speed creeps up, the lower stuff, the aero obviously knocks off it and it's uh, not that great. Under steering. High speed down the straight. It's, uh, yeah, very quick. The 
oil pressure needle takes a dive. Was that the turbo? It's the turbo. Okay, and a quick look around at what you're getting. Not me crashing, this is really disorientating in there. Uh, VR, so we won't do that much more. Flashing yellow, eh? Ooh, somebody's had a bump, that's why it's flashing. Sorry, flashing green. Somebody's left a bit on the track. Whoop. Okay, so you've got to really push this thing and it starts to come alive. Slower car ahead. This guy won't see the blue flag. He's racing us for position. He's the class leader. The answer, bounding ahead is yep. now 19 seconds. How you got to ride, drive this thing is pushing it. Yep. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you're going to go to the inside, I'll just stay on the outside, I've got way more grip than you, Aston. It's living third. Oh, it's looking up the inside. Go away. Oh, yeah. Let's be, let's be cheeky, let's turn the trash control off. Still that push on oversteer. Yep, very predictable. Very fast, very uh, safe. <laughs> Track day car for the rich and board. Right, so I need a million views, people, and then YouTube can buy me one of these. I need about a million views every uh, hour for next year, if that's okay. Cheers, deal. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, it's over. Yeah, it's got it's got kind of like standard Porsche bits in it, like the stalks. And the heater controls and then tagged on over the top where you would normally have a, a gps screen you've got <laughs> you've got the race stuff tagged onto it crazy and apparently the uh, the passenger seat is an optional extra for thirteen thousand pounds comes in base level carbon fiber and it's thirteen thousand pounds to have it wrapped in a variety of schemes but only schemes that porsche approve whatever <coughs> dear me see y'all